Hello and welcome to my channel Portrait Artist Direct. I hope you enjoyed this series of portraits that I'm doing. This one is Ewan McGregor. Uh, if you have a look at my channel you'll see that I've got uh, Carrie Fisher that I've already completed. But uh, this, uh, most of the video is done in time lapse. I hope you enjoy that. I'm going to do a little bit of talking over it and uh, just explain what I'm doing and uh, the process that I'm using. So I normally use a mechanical pencil, um, a 4B that gives me a nice dark um, detail that I'm looking for. But I, on this particular video, I'm using a graphic pencil 2B uh, because I'm using that to help with some of the shading and smudging around. So you might catch a little glimpse there, there's a piece of paper. I tend to draw off my iPad, uh, but I also print out an A4 piece of paper that helps me make sure I'm lining everything up as I'm going. So, um, okay, so uh, getting the eyebrows in basically today, that, that's kind of the, the, the main feature for today's video is getting these eyebrows sorted. And actually by the end of the video, I'm still a long way from having them finished, so I do apologize about that, but that's just the speed I go at. So here I'm just uh, adding some shadow detail to the bottom of his nose. And at this point you can see there's a bit of a straight line highlight down the middle of his nose. And actually he really doesn't have that. So that's something I'm going to look at later on in the video. But here I'm just getting some of the shading underneath the nose and that just allows for it to, um, to, to give it some feature and give it some detail. So I'm using a, a pencil um, and a bit of tissue here just to um, push around some of the, the uh, graphite powder uh, or the graphite off the pencil and that helps with uh, getting some of the, sh the uh, subtle shading in that I, uh, that I like. So here just working on the nose, a little bit up on the forehead, again just adding a little bit of shadow around uh, the detail. Uh, lots of that, lots more of that to come but at this point you are just really getting some of the main features in. So now just working on the right hand side of the uh, face a little bit more on the right hand side of the eye there is ultimately a lot more shadow to come in over the eyes or under the eyes under the eyebrows um, that will kind of make some of the shadowing make sense on that on that right eye his left hand eye but here just working on the eyebrow uh, it's just really a case of um, uh, I work lots of eyebrow strokes in so draw the individual hairs and then I smudge it and then I go back over the hairs again and then I go over with a uh, with the eraser and then I kind of keep working on that until I'm happy with uh, the way it looks. When I've basically done the uh, picture completely, one of the last things I will tend to do is go in and do a last go over on the eyelashes and the eyebrows just to really bring them out uh, and all the individual last few hairs. So just working on the uh, some of the hair here and the ear, I think I spoke about it in one of my other uh, videos which is that um, it's good to swap around what you're working on sometimes so you don't get uh, you don't sort of get uh, a bit lost in the in the drawing you're doing so so now I think I was coming sort of getting close to thinking about finishing for the day and um, and I, I couldn't really leave the nose I, I just it drew me back and I thought right I'm gonna try and get some of this nose done uh, and just kind of solidify the picture a little bit more so I'm putting in some shading and uh, this is just the 2B uh, graphic, uh, the Derwent graphic pencil. And you can see how I'll go in, I'll shade quite loosely, quite lightly, and then I'll go over with the tissue. And then if I want a stronger uh, bit of shadow on it, I'll go with the Derwent um, paper smudger. But here I'm just using a bit of tissue. Uh, make sure you're not using one with any oil or anything on it. It's just a plain bit of tissue. Like I say, I think, I think his nose is is uh, yeah not definitely not right on the end there. It's, it's kind of rounder, and at this point it's kind of got a straight down, um, very straight. It sort of looks a bit like a Paul Newman's nose, I think actually yeah, off, my, off the top of my head, and that's not quite right. It's definitely sort of more round on the end, and I, I come back to that at the uh, at the end of the video, I think. So uh, just trying to add some more depth here under the eye. Uh, the eyebrows are sort of quite a little bit heavy in real life so you just want to um, make sure that they that they're casting the right kind of shadow and then you know i've, I've made a first pass with the uh, do uh, the derwent uh, graphic pencil and here i'm making a second pass just adding in a little bit more depth 
And ultimately, I mean, I'll, I'll work on this. I mean, I could probably do 10 passes, 20 passes um, to get to the point that it's absolutely right. But if you go in too dark at the beginning, you can't really undo it. So it is really just building it up, building it up layer by layer, uh, and then just trying to work on bits then that, that don't seem right. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm getting some of the, the, the depth on the right hand side of the nose, and that's making me think, well, I need to add a little bit of uh, that same uh, feature, a little bit of the depth on the left hand side of the nose. But the light is mainly coming from the left hand side. So this left hand side, even though it's got some shadow to it, is not as dark as the right hand side so again just lightly going over um, with the uh, with the pencil and then yes please look I, uh, if you enjoy these videos hit the like button please subscribe uh, I'm trying to build the channel so that I can spend a bit more time doing this rather than just sort of jumping in for 20 minutes a day or an hour a day whatever I'm, I'm able to squeeze in please hit the like button and subscribe and it'll allow me to spend a bit more time doing these pictures and I, I really do enjoy doing it. Uh, I've got lots and lots of uh, ideas for these this icon series and I think you'll enjoy seeing what uh, some of the ones I've got coming up next. So here this is um, uh, getting close to the end of the video but I'm basically again just just utilizing the uh, the tissue uh, just to, to smudge around and uh, again on the top lip here lots and lots more work to, to do and the beard is going to make a huge difference once I start getting that in. So um, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I'll try and post these up uh, every couple of days if I can. Um, there's a little clip of the finished or the picture I'm at. Here we go. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please subscribe. Hit the like button.